Offbeat Sports Podcast, presented by Celsius. Now it's been a tale of two seasons for the Boston Celtics. I probably aged about 10 years just from that series. I'd probably compare myself to like, you know, just a younger, smarter, more handsome, stronger Michael Jordan. Let's go Celtics. Go Patriots. These are these are guys who, when they when you give them a bowl of Cheerios in the morning, they finish every last drop of milk. Absolute uh, clown over here. I'm ready when you are, baby. All right, everybody. Uh, welcome back to the Offbeat Sports Podcast. Present- uh, today, we're continuing our new interview series called Offbeat University, where we interview Division One college athletes, both male and female, from many different sports to get the full perspective into the lives of our student athletes. This is actually Harry's first Offbeat University interview. So welcome, I know this Harry. is exciting. This um, is exciting. Yeah, so today we're joined by Will Batchelder, point guard for the College of the Holy Cross men's basketball team. Will is a freshman from Newburyport, Massachusetts, and most recently played high school ball at Governor's Academy in Byfield, Massachusetts, where he was an 1,000-point scorer and was named first team All-New England uh, Prep uh, prep School um, Athletic Council and first team All-Independent School League in 2020. Prior to Governor's Academy, Will played at St. John's Prep in Danvers, where he earned all Catholic conference honors. Um, it's a long list of awards. Hell yeah. <laughs> now, through it. Thanks, for, thanks for coming on, man. We appreciate it. Yeah, of course. This man's walkout song is Trophies by Drake. Come on, Perry. <laughs> all right, so uh, many, many may not know, but you played for the Middlesex Magic AAU team while you were in high school, uh, one of the best AAU teams in the state. Uh, so how is playing for a great team like the Magic that is known for producing high-level college athletes and even some professional basketball players helped you prepare to play at that D1 level? Uh, it was great. I played, for, uh, I played for Magic since my freshman year. So I was there for a good uh, three or four seasons. So, like, in my time there, I was able to just soak up a lot of information from Coach Karate. He's the, um, he runs the program. He's a great guy. So, oh, you know, I, I like, know Karate. <laughs> yeah, of course. So just uh, learning from him and being around other other like, really good players, you know, helps prepare you for college and a lot of translatable stuff. Yeah, he's he's a very animated guy. I, I, I've uh, yeah. I've I played yeah. against him and score kept some of his games. He's very animated. He's a good coach. He's just a lot <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> oh, for sure. So being a D1 recruit out of high school, you obviously had a lot of other offers that you could have gone to school. Um, so what was the biggest factor for you choosing a small school like Holy Cross over other bigger schools that you you could have played at? Uh, for me, I kind of wanted to find like a good fit, like academically and athletically. And um, I really uh, thought Holy Cross was a good uh, good spot for that. And I wanted to be close to home so my parents and all of my family and friends can come to my games. That was also um, a big thing I wanted. So I kind of checked all the boxes there. So kind of like piggybacking off of what you just said there, um, you said academics played like a pretty solid role into like why you chose your school you're going to? Yeah. Um, for call, like degree-wise, I wanted to be able to come out of a place that, you know, holds Absolutely. a strong degree in Northeast and like, Make most of now, that. if I if I had to ask you some questions about like the academic side of things, um, you know, being in high school, it's a lot more lax, like playing around and like, you know, being able to do your schoolwork in the morning. And then when it comes to it, like grind times, grind time, uh, you're coming to a school, you know, Holy Cross, really good academically. And they kind of really push it on you very hard. Now, I what is your mindset going into school, going into college and just like preparing to juggle in between basketball and your academics um I'm kind of I kind of just say like just take it kind of one week at a time you know just manage time management you know I'm, I'm kind of learning you know we have busy schedules so I just kind of take it week by week and um you know when I have my free time get get work done and go to practice and you know two weeks in so you know. Just Going good so far, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I saw this uh, this summer you had some some great summer runs with Pat Connerton and the Milwaukee Bucks, obviously a local guy. Uh, Tyler Kolek of Marquette. How much of an impact have guys like that in like playing in those kind of summer runs had on your game, and what are some things they've been able to help with to improve your game? Uh, Pat's been huge for me because I think my ninth grade year is when – or going into my sophomore year – was when he first started letting me um come to runs. 
so I've been I've been able to be around Pat in the summer for past four four years past four summers so you know being around him and seeing like his work ethic how he handles stuff and you know like that level of skill and intensity you know always you know humbles you and you know you can you can kind of just like learn you can always learn from him which is um which has been great you know he's always giving me great advice someone I can always go to and you know get a little bit of a, a reality check or you know whatever it is so Pat's been awesome you know super great guy and then with Tyler like uh we played magic together he was he was older than me but um he's always been super cool with me and you know giving me advice when I need it you know it's always fun just getting in the gym with with guys like that so you played basketball for Governor's Academy most recently um to finish up high school so what was what would you say your favorite memory of playing for Governor's is as I mean I'm sure there's a lot but what's one that really sticks out to you um uh, this past season, um, we beat Brooks. You know, I got some some good buddies on Brooks, and it was a good uh good atmosphere of the game, and you know that was just a big win for us. And guys and Brooks has like a, a little rivalry, so you know yeah, that, that friendly was, was beef that you fun. got going on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was super. It was a super fun game. Um, so you're going into a you're going into a whole new system, right? You're going into kind of like having to learn and forget everything you just kind of came from, but like develop yourself into this new player, fit in with how they play, kind of get yourself in the scheme. You've been doing it for two weeks. You said now, um, after sitting there, meeting the guys working out and then, you know, hitting team practice, like, how do you feel about this season that you like, you think you're going big time? Like what, what are your physical expectations personally as a team? Like, what? What's your outcome? What's your what's your ideals? Well, we actually this is my first two weeks on campus. We as a team we got here in June, and we're oh able to damn do like summer yeah we so we've been we've been together for a while now. So we've been able to do like summer workouts and and uh, just be so around you already know all the guys yeah yeah. So that was actually really helpful in the summer just so I could get to know everyone and um, everyone's super cool and I think we we gel well together and we should be. I think we'll we have pretty good upside for this season just based off of how much we've been able to be around each other and um just been going at it every day with each other. Absolutely. If you could like yeah. see yourself in a couple months from now, once you guys actually start hitting the grinds, where do you see yourself like record wise? Like what do you what do you think y'all doing this year? Undefeated? <laughs> nah. I, mean, I, I hope so. Hell yeah, man. But, I like uh, to see it. Yeah. Um, so as a D1 athlete um, for the basketball team and really any D1 athlete, they they never get there by themselves, you know, like everybody gets help from somewhere. So who would you yeah. say has impacted you the most on and off the court in your career to get you to where you are today to have the chance to play for Holy Cross? Um, definitely a good amount of uh you know, just family, friends, and, you know, coaches and trainers throughout the years. But, like, I've been really lucky. Uh, my dad's been along uh, my side every step of the way, same with my mom. Um, they've always – my dad and I have been working out together since for as long as I can remember. Um, so he's played a big part. Um, you know, my uh, – I've a trainer who I've known since I was in fifth grade. He's always, you know, kept it real with me and um, been able to push me uh to like to my limits in a in a positive way um guys like pat like we said um you know having a guy like that in your corner who can who has such a good a good knowledge of basketball playing at every all the three highest levels um you know guys like that have for sure been helpful along the way and you know guys that i know will always be there for me yeah, so I'm assuming you're a fan of game. I'm assuming you grew up watching the NBA. So, like, are there any yeah. NBA guys that you looked up to growing up or you could compare your game to that you model yourself after? Yeah, I've always, like, I've always looked up to Steve Nash, you know. Um, he's been one of my favorites to watch. Um, right now, you know, currently Peyton Pritchard since he's – I've I've watched Peyton's pilots for a while, but now that he's, that he's on the seas, I mean, that just makes it that much better. Um, yeah. Steph Curry. I'm yeah, a big I'm a big P guy. Yeah, for sure. He's a man. Are you uh, a big P guy, Harry? 
I'm the biggest P guy. I mean, I'm a big guy, and you add P to it, then I'm just a big P guy. Yeah. Uh, Darn, hey, I, <laughs> I, um, I, um, I got another question for you. Um, so have you gotten like the schedule, like lookout for the season, like your games, who you're playing, like where they're gonna be? Yeah, we got our schedule yesterday. Yeah, so officially got released. After taking a quick look at it, if you could talk to everybody watching right now, what's the one game they got to see? Can't miss. Got to be there. Um, well, I mean, our home game, I'd say all our home games. Every you know, single – hell, yeah. That's the, that's the moment. Every right home there. game in conference, out of conference, you got to be there and pack the home games. Damn right. But um, we have Creighton on our schedule. We should, I oh, think they're going to be game. top – top five in the country this year hell yeah they, uh i think they got a few guys on the draft board so i know it should be a super cool experience uh going to Creighton, you know playing guys like that so yeah that's gonna be a big one hell yeah man yeah. you excited so what is, is yeah, it i'm fired up i think it's february 6th you play lafayette which is squires we were talking about no we had him on the show squires yeah, you, uh you guys played au back in the day you're looking forward oh. to that matchup yeah a little battle yeah, I mean, I think so, I might, I might, I might have Kyle. to pop out for that game. I might try and pop oh, out for yeah, that you, game. I was, so. hey, I was talking about the, I was talking about the friendly banter. That's gonna get a, it's gonna get a little more than friendly out on there. <laughs> Y'all gonna be going at <laughs> Squires, it. Squires, I, I played pickup with Squires, and he talks a lot. So I mean, that's good. That's gonna be fun. Hey, Squires, I, mean, I didn't. I Squires, he was crickets when I got home. <laughs> I told him not fuck him up one v one in Michael Jordan style. I'm gonna take him twenty one zero. Nothing. Did the thing. <laughs> You're not worth you're not worth <laughs> playing against. All right, well that's all we got for you tonight. Um, that may have been the goofiest interview we've ever done, but uh, thank you for joining us, Will. We appreciate it. Uh, of course, thank you. Uh, best of luck this season. We're we're definitely gonna come pop out for a couple of games. Um, so yeah, good luck. Yeah, come to the games. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Yeah, no problem. Uh, thank thanks, you. everyone. Th- uh, thanks, everyone, for watching and listening. Uh, be sure to follow us on Instagram at offbeat underscore sports and uh, check us out on TikTok at offbeat sports. And make sure you're on the lookout for the next installation of the Offbeat University series. Uh, thanks, everyone, for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Later, boys.